Hi, on this video we're gonna be looking at Active Workbook and This Workbook. We're gonna look at the difference of what they are and we're gonna look at the name, the path, and the full name. We're gonna grab that data and we're gonna put it in the range uh, H10. Now, this is going to be an interesting one um, and this is a really good lesson just from a programming standpoint because we're gonna some, see some things here that are just different, right? So, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this code. I have it all pre-pepped just for uh, speed. If we go range H10, you will notice that that is the name, which is a really long name, and then it is gonna be the same because my active workbook and my this workbook happens to be the same. So I happen to be in the sheet. You can kind of see it, but this is um, highlighted. So if you look at that, then you've got uh, the, the difference of these. You've got the name, you've got the, uh, the folder path, and then you've got the full name, which is the folder path plus the workbook name. Now let's go ahead and change this. I'm gonna change uh, my active workbook, and that's really easy to do. All you gotta do is just select on another workbook so that it's the top workbook, and we're gonna run this. Now I'm gonna go through this. You'll notice that nothing is happening. And the reason is, is range, my range is actually down here. And so my active workbook has changed, but I've not referenced what workbook I'm supposed to be on. And so as I go through this, it's actually going to put that code on my active workbook, which happens to be on the workbook that I may not think that the workbook's on. Now that can be confusing and it's ridiculously frustrating when you're coding and it's not doing what, you, what you're asking. Now you'll notice that when I give the full name, it gives the full path for the this workbook, which is where the code lives, but it is not giving us the code for the active full name or the active path because I haven't saved it. And so that's just a quick view of the um, the path, the full name, and the workbook name. Now, in order to save a file, or actually change the name of a file, it's actually pretty simple, but it is a, it's a uh, save as. And so we would go this workbook dot save as, and then I'm gonna do file name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the file name folder and I'm going to concatenate that with some text, which is going to be um, new or new WB. And just to keep it simple, we're going to go to new WB, and we're going to leave it like that. And come back here, and we will notice that when we go through this now, if we hit F8. It's going to go through one one row at a time. Notice my active workbook has changed. It's going to do a save as, and you'll also notice that if I run this again, which I'm going to do right now, it's going to actually change the name because it's got a new name, um, a smaller name, and there you go. That is how you change the name of a workbook. Hope this is helpful, and I hope you enjoyed.